June Ellison, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the silver screen. What's the first June Allison movie that comes to your mind? Whether it's her undeniable charm or unique screen presence, there's something about her that sets her apart from her contemporaries. What do you think distinguishes June Allison from others of her era? We're curious about your cherished memories or personal experiences connected to this Hollywood icon. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Stick around as we have some amusing, surprising, and poignant facts coming your way. Keep watching for more insights into the life of this classic Hollywood actor. Born on October 7, 1917, in the Bronx, New York, USA, June Allison had a modest upbringing in a working-class family. Eleanor Jaceman, as she was originally named, faced challenges early on, with the death of her father at the age of eight profoundly impacting her life. This loss shaped her resilience and determination. Despite the hardships, Allison developed a passion for the performing arts, particularly dance and acting. Her journey in show business began as a dancer, but a serious leg injury redirected her focus to acting. Under contract with MGM in the 1940s, she soon caught Hollywood's attention with her tenacity and talent. A pivotal moment in her career came with the role of Joe March in the film adaptation of Little Women. This breakthrough showcased her acting prowess and endeared her to audiences. Known for her girl next door charm, she became a popular actress in the post-war era. Throughout her career, Allison collaborated with renowned directors and actors, solidifying her status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Her on-screen chemistry with frequent co-star Van Johnson in films like The Stratton Story and Too Young to Kiss endeared them to audiences. Beyond film success, she transitioned to television, leaving a mark with shows like The DuPont Show with June Allison in the 1950s and 1960s. Allison's early life experiences, including the loss of her father and her unwavering dedication to her craft, played a significant role in shaping her remarkable career. Overcoming obstacles, she became a beloved actress, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. June Allison, an actress celebrated for her noteworthy career, shared intriguing details in her autobiography about a brief liaison with a young John F. Kennedy. The revelation added an unexpected chapter to her life story, providing readers with a glimpse into the personal side of a woman known for her on-screen charisma. Moving forward, October 1976 marked a significant moment in her life when she exchanged vows with David Ashrow at the Ingleside Inn in Palm Springs, California. The wedding ceremony remains immortalized in a photograph displayed proudly in the historic hotel garden. The union with Ashro introduced a new phase in her life, highlighting personal milestones beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. However, the twists and turns of her personal life took another unexpected turn when she married Alfred Glenn Maxwell. As fate would have it, her family allowance from the estate of Dick Powell underwent a substantial reduction, dropping from $5,000 to $2,500 per month. This financial shift added a layer of complexity to her life, showcasing the intricate dynamics that can accompany matters of the heart and the consequences they may bring. In reflecting on Allison's journey, one can't help but be captivated by the real-life drama that unfolded behind the scenes. From a fleeting connection with a future president to the picturesque wedding in Palm Springs, her life unfolded in ways that resonated with fans and added an element of human complexity to her public persona. In the end, whether in the spotlight of Hollywood or the private moments captured in her autobiography, her life remains a fascinating tapestry of experiences that continue to intrigue and resonate with readers. This glimpse into her personal history offers a unique perspective on the actress, shedding light on the woman behind the roles she portrayed on screen, a testament to the multifaceted nature of a life well lived. Following the untimely demise of her first husband, Dick Powell, Allison found herself entangled in a bitter court battle with her mother over the custody of her son, Richard Powell, and adopted daughter, Pamela Powell. During this challenging period, legal records disclosed that Dirk Wayne Summers assumed the role of legal guardian for Dick and Pamela through a court petition. Interestingly, her initial career aspirations did not align with the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. The original ambition was to become a doctor, and acting was merely a means to finance medical school education. Although she initially pursued this path to support her medical aspirations, circumstances led her to stick with acting. Instead, she used her financial resources to assist her brother in realizing his dream of becoming a doctor. 
throughout her life, Allison maintained a persistent interest in health and medical research, a thread that ran parallel to her cinematic journey. Amidst her career, an unexpected turn saw her contemplating a role as a celebrity spokesperson for Depend Undergarments. Despite her initial reluctance due to the sensitive nature of the subject, her mother played a pivotal role in changing her mind. Convinced that she could genuinely help people grappling with a prevalent but often unspoken issue, her mother persuaded her to embrace the opportunity. From legal battles for custody to unexpected career paths, Allison's life journey unfolded with twists and turns that went beyond the glitz of Hollywood. These aspects provide a nuanced look into the complexities of her personal and professional life, offering readers a glimpse into the woman behind the roles she portrayed on screen. Known for a noteworthy Hollywood career, June Allison formed a close friendship with Judy Garland during their time at MGM in the 1940s. Garland used to give Allison rides to the studio, and after her passing, Allison spoke emotionally about the lack of appropriate help available to the iconic actress during her lifetime. Possessing a unique talent for crying on cue, Allison shared this skill with Margaret O'Brien. Their method involved trying very hard not to cry, leading them to shed tears effortlessly. During O'Brien's death scene in Little Women, both actors couldn't stop crying. In terms of favorite actors, Allison admired Tom Hanks, Harrison Ford, and Meg Ryan, leaving a lasting impression on her and showcasing her appreciation for their work in the film industry. These insights into Allison's personal connections and unique talents provide a deeper understanding of the person behind the roles portrayed on screen, offering a glimpse into the complex and emotional aspects of her life. In 1976, June Allison entered a new chapter in life, marrying Dr. David Ashrow, a retired dentist turned actor. The couple later toured together in the late 70s and early 80s, performing in the stage play My Daughter, Hey Son, and receiving favorable reviews. Notably, a few years before her marriage to Ashrow, she had previously starred in the same play alongside her son, Richard Powell. Following her marriage to Ashro, Allison's life took an unexpected turn when she formed a close connection with Glenn Maxwell, Dick Powell's former barber, who became her second husband. Eventually, David Ashro, her last husband who outlived her, entered her life a retired dentist turned actor. Allison's resilience and determination were evident from an early age. At eight, a falling tree limb crushed her while riding a bicycle, leading to four years in a back brace. Undeterred, she taught herself to dance by watching Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movies. Despite being told that the accident might prevent her from having children, Allison adopted Pamela Powell in 1948 and gave birth to her son, Richard Powell, in 1950. Her life, marked by marriages, theatrical performances, and personal challenges, provides a multifaceted glimpse into the complexities of her journey. From on-stage collaborations with family members to marriages with individuals from different walks of life, Allison's story offers a unique perspective on the actress's personal and professional life. Following the death of her first husband, Dick Powell, June Allison faced a turbulent period marked by a divorce filing and subsequent struggles with alcoholism. Despite the challenges, their marriage endured until his death from cancer in 1963. The aftermath saw Allison grappling with personal demons, possibly triggering a custody battle with her mother. Post her film career, Allison transitioned to Broadway and off-Broadway plays, television appearances, and commercials, including the well-known Depends commercials, spanning from the 1960s to the 1990s. From 1963 to 1975, she embarked on a long-term, ill-fated romance with writer-director Dirk Wayne Summers. Their relationship was frequently featured in Walter Winchell's influential column, with the couple often making headlines as members of the nascent jet set. Despite Summer's apparent love for her, he consistently declined her proposals of marriage, leading to a complex dynamic in their jet-setting life through Europe. June Allison's life journey, marked by marital challenges, struggles with alcoholism, and a foray into post-film career ventures, offers a nuanced perspective on the actress's personal and professional experiences, showcasing the complexities that unfolded behind the scenes.